everyone, it's Tony here, your Ospinai Supermom. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to my channel and giving this video a thumbs up if you would like to. Today I would like to share to you a list of the things that I no longer buy. This is part of my minimalist lifestyle. I stop purchasing things that no longer serve me or things that are unnecessary. And therefore, this allows me to save more money and focus my finances on more important things like travels with my kids. This is very important to me because I want to build memories with my kids traveling while they're still young. Also, I can focus my finances on, on things that are necessary or important to our daily living. This also allows me to save for my kids' trust funds and for um, educational savings. So on my list today, I'm sure that there are lots of things here that some of you are buying. Uh, of course, you can still continue buying them um, if you need them. And uh, I, I just want to share this list because you might learn something from it. Rest assured that um, if you are buying these things, that there is no judgment made. This is just based on my personal experience and I just want to share them with you. Number one is decorative items. I used to buy a lot of decorative items for my unit. When we first moved into this unit, because I was so excited to decorate it, this is our first home as a family with my husband and my kids. I was so excited so I bought a lot of decorative items for this place and after several months or less than a year I realized that some of them or most of them I don't really need or they don't serve a purpose so I had to get rid of them. As of now I don't buy any decorative items anymore, I don't need to add more decorations in my place and I'm happy with how it is now so I stopped buying decorative items. Number two is magazines and newspapers. I used to love collecting magazines. When I was in high school, I used to save money just to buy my favorite magazines, the Cosmopolitan magazine. I love looking at the photos and the shiny glossy pages and reading the articles in it. And I stopped buying magazines because I think that I, I really don't need them. Um, I also stopped buying newspapers because we can access um, news from the television, from the radio, and most especially online. So who needs magazines and newspapers nowadays? Next is wall clock. I used to have a small wall clock here in my unit in the dining area, but when it got broken, I realized that I don't really need a wall clock because um, I, I have my wristwatch, which I always use and I also have iPhone and all of us have iPhone here in the family so we don't re really need a wall clock. Next is perfume or perfumes for myself. I used to have a big collection of perfumes. I love perfumes and uh, I stopped buying perfumes like a couple of years ago and I just want to consume what I have now and after that if I finish all of them I don't think I will buy them or I'll buy perfumes more perfumes because I don't think that it is really a necessity that I have to buy next are makeups or cosmetics I used to buy a few pieces of makeups or cosmetics because I wanted to experiment with um, applying makeup on my face. I really admire people who are very artistic in applying cosmetic on their face and it looks so amazing on them. So there was a time that I tried to experiment on makeups, but I realized that I really don't like makeup, so I stopped buying them. I don't really um, find the necessity for me to put makeup on. I'm a full-time housewife and if I work or do some small business i don't really have to put makeup on so i think it's not necessary for me to purchase makeup next are flowers i used to buy bunches of flowers for my home because i want to see fresh flowers on the vase on the table and uh, i used to buy them like every two weeks so i stopped buying them because it's really not um, maintainable like it's hard to maintain fresh flowers i think it's not really necessary because the money that i spend to buy flowers i can purchase more important things than just flowers 
Next are tea bags. I used to buy a lot of tea bags, like I love chamomile and uh, ginger tea or um, peppermint tea. That's my favorite. I used to buy a lot of them, but um, I don't know. I just lost interest in drinking um, tea from uh, using tea bags. Now I love making my own ginger tea or salabat in Filipino. Next is whitening toothpaste. Instead of uh, buying whitening toothpaste, what I do is that I use the regular toothpaste, then I put a little bit of sprinkle of baking soda on top of the toothpaste, and that's what I use to brush my teeth and whiten my teeth. This is very effective, and I do this two to three times a week, and so I don't have to buy whitening toothpaste anymore. Next is expensive branded bags. I've mentioned this in my previous video that I used to buy Gucci bags because I love them, but now I stopped buying branded bags and I don't even have to buy even the um, cheap brand of bags because I have enough bags. Next is fabric conditioner. I used to buy a lot of fabric conditioner because most of us are addicted to the beautiful scent that fabric conditioner provides. But now I found a good laundry detergent that gives my clothes beautiful scent and uh, soft and the soft uh, fabric. So that's the perfect laundry detergent for me. So I don't need to buy fabric conditioner anymore. Next are cookbooks. I used to have collection of cookbooks. I love collecting cookbooks because I love cooking and I want to experiment on new recipes. I even want to like uh, read the cookbooks, like, a, like just like a novel. I like reading books and uh, discovering new ingredients. And um, I used to collect them and my friends even give cookbooks to me as gifts. Now I stopped buying cookbooks because I don't think I need them. Most recipes you can find now online, so there's no need to buy physical cookbooks. Next is air freshener or car deodorizers. I used to buy them, but um, I've learned that these products have lots of toxic substances or ingredients in it, so I stopped buying them. Next is soft drinks. I used to buy soft drinks every time I go to the groceries because I was addicted to this. Um, cola to this specific brand of cola, but I stopped buying them because I know that um, They are not good for my health Soft drinks have lots of sugar in it And I don't want my kids to see me drinking soft drinks and copying me So soft drinks is not allowed in my home. My kids do not drink soft drinks. So I stopped buying soft drinks Next is takeaway coffee. I used to buy takeaway coffee with my female friend. We used to go out like three, three to four times a week. So we drink coffee together. So we used to go to coffee shop and buy our coffee. But you know what? That cost me a lot of money. I realized that like every week I might spend um, like four fifty or four dollars per coffee. Who would? Um, cost me $16 a week. There are 52 weeks in a year, just multiply that amount and that's how much money I spent for takeaway coffee. So I learned how to enjoy my coffee at home or um, bring my own coffee in a thermos and I enjoy it just the same. Next are picture frames. <laughs> I used to have lots of picture frames and just recently I really got rid of some of them, a lot of them. So the pictures in the picture frames, I put them in a photo album, arranged them nicely, and I got rid of some of the photo frames in my lounge area. So that's a good way of decluttering, and I no longer buy them. Next are seasonal decorations, like uh, Christmas decorations or decorations for any other occasion like Easter or New Year or Christmas. When my kids were little, I used to buy lots of Christmas decorations, but since uh, they, they've grown up, they really don't like feel like enjoying it much as they used to. So I stopped buying Christmas decorations, even Easter decorations. We used to buy some Easter decorations. Just imagine that every 
um, occasion or event that you're celebrating, you are buying all these decorative items which are seasonal. So they you collect more clutter in your home. So I don't think they are necessary and therefore I stopped buying seasonal decorations. Planners and diaries. I used to buy planners and diaries every year. So I stopped buying them because I think that I can just organize my schedules uh, using my phone. <laughs> The phone has lots of uses and uh, this is one way you can maximize the use of your phone by putting your plans, your dates, your schedules in it without buying any planner or diary every year. Bottled water. We don't buy bottled water anymore. If we need water, we go in some way and we need water to bring water with us. We just bring our reusable bottle. So we don't need to buy bottled water anymore. Next is take away food that can be made at home. Like most of the time when we go to shopping centers, especially to the food court in the shopping center, we see food that really are attractive and we want to buy them straight away. But now I'm very careful with that when I see food that I think I can make a version of at home or can make a better version even at home so I don't buy food anymore, take away food from food courts or food chains. I just go home and make my own food. Jewelries and accessories. I have um, enough accessories or jewelries. I stopped buying jewelries and accessories because I don't think I need them. I don't think they are necessary. I only need my piece of watch, my wristwatch, my favorite wristwatch. Maybe I need like a um, few jewelries if I have to attend some occasion, but I don't buy jewelries and accessories anymore. High heeled shoes. I used to love wearing high heeled shoes when I was younger. And uh, even just uh, 10 years ago, I still have a huge collection of high heeled shoes. But recently, I gave them away and I only left two pairs of high heeled shoes, which uh, I can use if I need them. So I no longer buy high heeled shoes. Okay. Next is plastic wares and plastic containers. I got rid of a lot of plastic containers in my kitchen or from my kitchen, so I no longer buy them either. Instead, I buy glasswares with lead on it, so I replace all my plastic with glasses. I started buying clothes that do not need much ironing when I was younger. I think when I was in the university. And because this is because I want to save time, and therefore I started liking and buying clothes that don't need ironing. So I don't really buy clothes that need much ironing this is for me to save time and also i think it saves money too next is closed iron and ironing board in this place where i live i don't have an iron or ironing board i only have a clothes steamer which i rarely use and also because i do not buy clothes that need much ironing or do not need ironing at all i don't need iron or ironing board. Next is plastic bags. I stopped buying plastic bags and I instead use reusable shopping bags. And this is one of the best things we can do to protect our mother earth and help it recover from pollution and too much garbage. Next are CDs or compact discs for music and movies. I used to buy a lot of CDs when my kids were younger because they enjoy it and um, we used to collect them and watch them again and again but now that they are grown up they are not interested in cities anymore and um, even if they want to listen to music and watch movies nowadays they are all available online thank you for listening and watching and i'll see you on the second part of this minimalism video if you want to keep in touch with me Send me a message at Lovely Mom and Beyond Facebook page. See ya!